That's cool. It's such an iconic drum set. Four drums. That's all Ringo Starr needed. The most timeless drummers are the ones that are the most simple. To find the best drummer in the world, is it someone that's technically proficient, or is it someone that sits in the song with their own feel? Ringo was the king of feel. He, you know, he's a song drummer. Guys that, that sit down and they hear the song and then they play appropriately for that song. He actually used his kit in a very different way, a very creative way. But for example, on Ticket to Ride, he said, well, I've got something different. <laughs> Cool. Very innovative. His fills are really fun and quirky to play. His left hand, he'll come through like that. I'm seeing him do it. It's like, okay. But he would lead with his left hand, which most right handed drummers, when you go around the drum, you lead with your right hand. <laughs> and there is a different sound to it, a different um, feel to it. If a producer says to you, give me Ringo, what would Ringo do? It's a Ringo swing. He kind of washes the windshield on the hi hats, man. You know, it's a fucking Ringo thing. It's like a a style of music. You know, it's, almost, it's that sloppy, swampy, falling down the stairs kind of sound. That is, it is the coolest thing ever. Big contribution of of uh, Ringo was that he used his tom toms as part of the composition. He really had a knack for coming up with really interesting musical parts that became rhythmic hooks. And just, I mean, honestly, if, if you're a drummer and you can do this and have people dancing, you're a fucking badass. touch. I wouldn't be a drummer without Ringo. That is the DNA of pretty much everything I do. You hear his drumming and you know exactly who it is. There are millions upon millions of us out there who not only were influenced, but wanted to be Ringo Starr. Ringo was the coolest one.